to be on camera. That's all. I'm doing a bit of preaching. That's all. And some of it, some of it is based upon getting people to stop and answer a few questions, such as these ones. They can, they can stir up conversation. Do uh, you saw these? Didn't you? You're local, are you? Yeah, I am. Are you with? Are you all together? No. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know who you. Were. Yeah, okay. Own, yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. um, are you a religious person yourself? Okay. I am, yeah. Religious as in Muslim? Okay. I was trying to get a, to, fa to find a Muslim today because I have in here, uh, at least I should have in here, where did I put it? I hope someone didn't steal it. What have I got here? No, I've been trying to work my way through this. Um, it's the Quran. Uh, it was produced by. Do you want to use a microphone? Okay. Uh, this one I've been working my way through. I'm in Surah Eight, and I have. I'm doing that because I want to see what they believe rather than assume what people believe. And at the same time, I ask Muslims, "Do you read the Bible? Like, for example, are you read Quran? Do you? Yes. Have you ever read any of the Bible? Okay. And what do you see uh, of a comparison there? Well, what I know about Bible and Quran is. The transcripts, the scripts which were earlier given to the prophets, mm -hmm. to the David and the so the Jesus. Torah and the Gospels, yeah, all of those were not protected by the God. Oh, why not? Well, that's what's written in the Quran. Ah, so you take its word for it. <laughs> well, I take it as a word because uh, we believe in all prophets. Uh -huh. We do not deny any prophet. Okay, which was which came to the people by the God. Okay, have you heard of? Um, now, this is the guy's name, and it's Khadija's cousin, and his name is Warak ibn Nawfal. Mm -hmm. Right. He's the one that when Muhammad said he had a vision or a encounter with an angel, Gabriel, where would they get the name Gabriel? Well, it wasn't, it, it, the angel didn't identify itself as Gabriel, but it was when Khadija said, oh, I'll we'll have to speak to my cousin. It says that based upon his knowledge of the scriptures, he said, you have been uh, met by the angel Gabriel. Now, if the scriptures were corrupted, is he using corrupted scriptures to tell Muhammad this? Well, whatever uh, the people who were asking questions in that era of Muhammad. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's go to the basics. Mm -hmm. How did the Quran come into the book? So whatever the people were asking at that time the, uh, when Muhammad was preaching, started preaching, yeah. God was revealing everything to Muhammad to tell people because Muhammad was not aware of any happening which were happened. Are you time. sure about that? Because Definitely. you do know that he worked he worked for um, his the merchant Kadaja. She was his, he yeah, yeah. he worked with her on a uh -huh. on a trade route. And on this trade route, there's no question that Muhammad would have encountered Christians and Jews, because mm -hmm. we know about this, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So in his encounters with them, it seems that he would have come across the fact that there's only one God, mm -hmm. okay? And yet he was a polytheist at the time, okay? okay? So he went back to Mecca, mm -hmm. where there are hundreds of gods, mm -hmm. and he selected one of them mm -hmm. and got rid of all the rest. Well, he did not select the one... He saw, because you can't see God. But he did person. select one. Well, he selected the God, which he can't see. Uh-huh. And what, where is that God now? What? Where is that God now? Where is that God, mm -hmm. which we can't see? Well, I'm just saying that because I've read about the Kaaba, okay, which I don't know if it's pronounced correctly. And a Muslim that I spoke to in Killarney, he said, yes, I've been to Mecca, and I went around the black stone, mm -hmm. black stone, and people kiss this black stone, mm -hmm. believing that it forgives all their sins by kissing no. this black stone. Well, it's not a crime. I get it, I get it. Let's just go to the basics. Mm -hmm. We are just going to the symptoms. If you know the disease, you should know the symptoms, right? Mm -hmm. You go, you try these symptoms, basically, what we are trying to find from the books, these are all things. When you, when you see the whole compact of that, you understand what exactly that is. We do not preach stones. That's the first thing. As a Muslim, we believe that we do not bow down to Mecca. It's just the center. Yeah. Why do people go to Mecca? Why do people go to Mecca? 
because that was there. Muhammad was revealed everything. Uh, well, well if I am a Muslim, yeah. I'm a believer. I'm a very like not a strict Muslim, but I, what I believe, what we were taught by Quran, by Hadith, by Allah, because the Quran is not the words of prophets. Let mm -hmm. me tell you this. I know that the the Bible is not are not the words of uh, Jesus. Well, well, it, of course, of course, the New Testament has got Jesus' words. Yes, yeah. words by Jesus. That, Je that Jesus actually okay. spoke. Okay, let's just agree to disagree. Why would we do that? Why? Well, I have the yeah. word, uh, the Bible well, there, yeah. and we have yeah. the yeah. words yeah. of yeah. Jesus in the I Bible. Have, uh, I, have a, I have an answer to this. Yeah. If we believe that Prophet is our God, for example, like you believe Jesus is God. You don't just, believe. Just, it. Just, Wait a minute. You don't believe that the Prophet is I'm your just, God. I'm just. Uh, giving you two uh, yeah, two yeah. things, two things. Prophet, who revealed everything to people, is that right? You believe that the prophet revealed everything no, to the people? No, no. Which which prophet? Muhammad. Well, I, I don't, don't believe, believe that. Muhammad. Don't believe you, that. You don't. Know. No, you don't believe. No, Muhammad. no. Okay, let me tell you. What. All the prophets who had the books, where did the script come from? From the man. Himself, no, the this prophet spoke as the Holy Spirit moved within them. Okay, and where did the Holy Spirit uh, came from? Uh, he's God. Huh? The Holy Spirit is God. Holy Spirit is God. So yeah. you believe the Holy oh, Spirit, oh, the Holy God Spirit has, is God? Has, is three dimensional. Yeah. Father, uh -huh. Son, uh -huh. and the Holy Spirit. It's three in one. It's called the Trinity. Okay? The Father is God, Jesus Christ is his Son, and the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. Which agrees Same with your like Quran, hmm? which agrees with your Quran, doesn't it? Because we, we, we agree, we agree with Bible. We do not disagree with Bible. Yeah. We, as a Muslim, if you talk about, if you talk to any Muslim, mm -hmm. he won't disagree with the Bible. Oh, I think they will. But who is, who is in the Quran? Some, hmm? In the Quran, who is Jesus in the Quran? Well, Jesus is a prophet. He's just the prophet. prophet. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, do you think God is a matter? Hmm? Do you yeah. think God is a matter? A matter. Whereas, oh. Yeah. A matter like us. Oh no, no a spirit. We know spirit. the Bible says God is spirit. So God is everywhere. Yes. Well, he never in his presence is he's omnipresent. Yes. Everywhere. A omnipresent. Yeah. Everywhere. If At you talk, time, if, you, yes. if you want to talk to God, you do not need any matter, right? No. No. You can pray you anywhere can, you want. That's right. Anywhere you want. Yeah. So we believe in this. We agree with this. But your God, surely, you believe he came down into this earth. What? Your your God comes down to this earth. No. No. So he's not in earth. So therefore, we don't agree. No, I agree. But God is not a matter. But that's you, one thing. That's what I'm saying. Is we believe that God is everywhere present. Everywhere, yeah. But you're saying not on earth. Everywhere, like not on earth, or it is God's. It's everywhere. So, how many, how, so we have seven you universes. Here. I just want to don't want to, she's waiting. Uh, no, no, no. Um, can I ask you? I've I've been reading this Quran. Mm -hmm. All the time we read we. We, 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 and R, 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 all through, as if it's a plurality, right? Okay. And I asked one we Muslim. Has, we as what? Well, it says, and if we were, had willed, we could have. It's talking for, as if God is speaking as a we and as an R, a plural, mm -hmm. all the way through. I've been going through page after page after page. It's always saying it. And a Muslim told me, ah, it's using the English language like the Queen would say, we. Yeah. What, and why would it borrow from the English language thousands, you know, like a thousand years later? It don't make any sense. I have an answer to that. Oh, I'm sure. The Quran has been translated in various different languages. Is that right? What is the basic language of Quran? Arabic. Arabic. If you know Arabic, like good Arabic, I don't know good Arabic. Yeah. So, when I read Quran, I read the script. I can't understand. So what I do, I need to find the best translation which was done from Arabic to my language or to any other language. There are a lot of people who have translated Quran to various different languages. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So everybody has their own concept of translating that. Right. Thing. But they give you the information in this book. And I asked a Muslim friend of mine, and that's what he told me. Uh -huh. And But the Muslim's general belief is this, that God can't speak to you unless you speak really, unless you understand Arabic. Okay. I mean, who would believe, who would believe that? Speaks in science? You, you never see God, so how can you say that God can speak to you? God speaks in signs. Oh, I didn't say God can't speak. I'm saying that 
the Muslims are teaching people that you have to be learning Arabic to really understand. And, and I said, why can't you just translate it into, you know, mm -hmm. other people's languages? No, everyone has to learn Arabic. That's what I've been told. Mm -hmm. You believe that? Well, what I believe, when I read, when I started reading Quran and started reading the translations, yeah. I found different translations, different concepts of different people who translated Quran in different languages. Mm. Trust me on that. Okay, that's fine. All right. So the basic thing is, when you read Arabic, only the Arabic person who knows Arabic very well mm. can exactly Pity. translate. It's not a pity, though. Wouldn't it be wiser, wiser? Like that's why we have our Bible in almost every language on earth, and people can read it in their own language, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's no problem at all. But yet the the Islamic belief, oh no, it has to be in Arabic to really understand it. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not a, uh, like it's not necessary. Like you have to just understand Arabic to understand Quran. The necessary thing is, whatever you are reading, you should know what you are actually reading to have a good concept about this, right? If I have four books of physics with different authors, are they going to be the same? Uh, four different authors. Well, if, if it's a, if it's study material, there's going to be some, probably some differences. I would imagine. What's your point? My point is, when this book has been translated by some good person, of course, because he tried to just preach, try to uh, make people understand that this thing is this thing. I haven't read this. I can't the, comment on You it. haven't read the English translation mm, by the no, Quran I project? because okay. I have read various different translations of uh, Quran in my language. I find it the translation is always the same, but the concept in that translation has to be in your journal life. It was revealed 1400 years ago, mm -hmm. but it still... That's gives, what we're told. Yeah, yeah. And can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. And how much of the Bible did you say you read? No, I haven't read like a lot of it. You've read any of it? Read, yes, I have. Because I asked my, because I have, I asked I have my, I asked my imam friend for 10 years. He keeps telling me and he has never read it because he's told, no, you shouldn't read it because it's corrupted. Rather than saying, well, I'll see if it's corrupted by reading it, they don't want to read it. Well, uh, if you want to have uh, a good concept about everything, I have a one person, I have a person, he's a, uh, he's a Muslim, mm -hmm. but he has read every transcript. Okay. And, and he give references from Bible to Quran to other books uh -huh. as well. I watched a few debates, by the way, with James White and uh, on some, you know, some History. good, some, some good uh, debates and it's interesting stuff. Um, what I don't understand for Muslims is why they just take this man's words as he's a prophet because he says so. Mm -hmm. Have you ever have you ever investigated whether he actually is a prophet? Because what I would find from what I've read, right, we know that the Old Testament is a revelation from God, and the New Testament backs it up. In fact, in fact, it flows from one Old Testament into the New Testament. It flows. Okay, then the Quran, the Quran comes around and says, "Oh, forget about all that. It's all corrupted." What it should have done, if it was really a follow-on, would have said, I'm going to confirm everything that's in the Old and New Testaments and build upon that. But it doesn't. It actually chips away at it and tries to disprove it and attacks it at every single point. I do not believe that Muhammad is a true prophet of God. I believe he's a false prophet. Have you heard about this? Yes, sir, you know, he's just not good oh, we, I, I, have, I have no problem with we love, we love you. We love you too. I, ha I well, I do not want. I check you out, making all the opinions. My wife is. Like, Where are you from? <laughs> Estol. All oh, Estol, right? And you go to church there? Again, yeah. Yeah. JP Walsh Church. Yes. Okay. Have a good you know day. JP. I know of him. I don't know him very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My uncle John used to go to the Jamaica church. Okay. By the homes. Well, we're in Killarney ourselves. Yeah. I must talk. Listen. We're all together. Okay. Okay. God I bless. God bless. Call, okay. Right? I want to. I, I have to get going soon. Okay. Uh, what's your name? No man. No man. I just in case. I think these girls wanted to come yeah. in. I just have a really quick question. Yeah. What denomination are you? Well, in a sense, I am a Christian of the um, Bible believing. Okay. I would consider myself, of my viewpoint, reformed in my theology and charismatic. A bit of a bit mix. Oh, okay. What about yourself? I am Baptist. Oh, Baptist, like Trilly Baptist Church? Uh, well, I go to Trilly Bible College, but yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, are any of you American? Yeah. Are you yeah. from the Herricks? Not the Herricks family? No, because I know there's some missionaries who were here, and yeah. I wasn't sure which one it was. 
Which is your dad the pastor? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Joshua Stewart. Yes, I've met him. He was uh, there, uh, as far as I know, uh, King James only. Oh, okay. Is that right? Are, are you from Clarny? Yeah. Oh, okay. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wondered. Is that am I right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good to meet you. That's, I yeah. wonder why you were hanging around. I thought maybe you wanted to do the test, or are you you're Christians yourselves? Yeah, I'm okay. Christian. Your I sister? Don't know about her, but huh? I don't know about her, but what, your friend or sister? Friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you should share the gospel. Yeah, yeah. Or give them leaflets. Give her leaflets or something like that. You know. <laughs> okay. Got some people here as well because there's people. So listen, that's good conversation. It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm doing my due diligence. No I'm doing my study. I'm, I'm, and as you can see... Well, I can give you one... Uh, issue. What, do you, what, I, what do you think of statements like that? These are the limits set by God and whoever obeys God and his messenger. It's almost like, and this is from my personal view, he's putting himself on the level as you have to believe in God and me. That's what it says. Not once, well, not twice. Uh, let me tell you one yeah. thing. Yeah. Prophet... One of our Sahaba, like uh, the follower of the God and the messenger, mm -hmm. one of the Sahaba just uh, said uh, to Prophet Muhammad that we believe in you and God. He stopped. Prophet Muhammad stopped that person right there that you cannot put me together with God. Well, that's what Hadith says. Look at this. We have it here. We have it almost on in every every one of these. It's it's me and look. Uh, I have I, I don't know where it is, but I've so many places yeah. I've I've, I've underlined that. That's that's because this these words are from God, right? These words no, are that's God. what you believe. Yeah. But but okay. I'm saying that you 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 are taking his words as being from God, right? And yet there's things that are coming up all the time as if you've got to believe in me. And there are cults all over the around the world, cults, whether they're Christian or anything else, they all kind of say the same thing. You have to believe in God and me, the messenger of God. It's not just Muhammad. There's so many people who claim to be a messenger of God. You've got to believe in God, but you've also got to believe in me. Now, Jesus actually did say that himself. He says, believe in God. You believe in God? Believe also in me. So there's a difference there, right? Because he is saying, actually, in John chapter 14, he that has seen me has seen the Father. Okay, So we believe that Jesus is um, God in the flesh. Okay, And he's gone to heaven again in the flesh. Okay, But no, I, believe I, I, I do not believe that this man is a true messenger of God. I don't believe that. Um, having read, I, do you know what I think? My bottom line is this. Take it, take it or leave it. I think he was a warlord. Who was who uh, was engaged in 29 battles, right? And he used religion to forward his agenda. That's it. What do you think of that? Do you think? Oh no, no, he was not involved. He wasn't in any wars. Why would a lot? Why would that much? That amount of people would believe in this thing if that wasn't right? Uh, because he was forced to. 29 wars. You know, look. Let's be, let's be honest. He is a warlord. <laughs> Let's be honest, like, why would we, why would a lot of people would believe in Prophet Muhammad? Just a question, just a question. They were raised to believe in it. Well, nobody forced anybody to believe in what it. If, what if what are the, what what about if you were in a country where to convert to a different religion was against the law? So what exactly uh, are there countries like that? What? Are there countries in which you cannot leave Islam? You cannot you ca you cannot convert to something else. No, no, there's no, there's no, there's no exception. If you want, there's a free will. You know, Aww. there's a free will everywhere. Humans are given a free will. Whatever you want to do, you have all the right things in front of you, the wrong things in front of you. You believe what you believe. All of that. Okay. Exactly. That's that's now, free I don't, will. That's I don't. I actually don't believe in the same sense of free will that some people might say they believe in, because there are many things influence our choices. So we're not exactly as free as we think we are. So what exactly is influencing? If a person is not reading what he, try, he what he wants to believe, he will never know. Hmm? If a person is not reading what he's believing, he will never know what the answer is. Reading what he's believing. Believing what he's reading. Uh, not sure what you mean by that. If 
I haven't read Quran, yeah. for example, I haven't read the Bible, mm -hmm. I blindly follow that. Yeah. That means I'm an illiterate person. Is that right? A what? Illiterate person. Illiterate. Yeah. Okay. Is, does that make sense? No, but I mean, Muhammad no. was illiterate apparently. He was. He right? was. He was. He did. He could not speak. He could not write. He could not do anything. I believe that. But whatever was revealed by when Muhammad, you say he couldn't speak, you mean he was a good speak, speaker. Good, good speaker. Uh, he couldn't speak the language of that. Like he, whatever the script was given to him. The Gabriel came and he just said, Ikra bismi, read. That's what the word is. Recite, is recite, this? recite. Yeah, I know. I've got, I, I have that in that chamber. In the story, in the Gideon. last parable. Recite in the name of your Lord who created, created exactly. Matra. And, and he, what he responded, I can't read. Well, you may believe that. Okay. I don't. I don't. Okay. I just don't take his word for it. Okay. We shouldn't just take someone's word for it because they said, "Oh, guess what? I had this yeah. revelation from an angel." Guess what? And he gave me all this revelation. And by the way, we're going to go to war. We have twenty nor twenty nine battles to wage. And if they don't believe me, well, God's telling me that I have to put them in line. You know, it's just you should think about that. You're obviously an educated man, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm a doctor. And yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I probably at the hospital or something, right? But. I know that you have to think these things through. You don't just take someone's word for it. Okay. And you have to ask yourself, like one, of the, one question I asked some Muslim guy recently was this, is he a prophet? What prophecy do you know of that he gave? What, I mean, he's, uh, what is a prophet anyway? They don't, they don't necessarily always speak future events, mm -hmm. right? But on what basis would we, anyone say that Muhammad is a prophet? Does he have prophecies? Did we have everything written in the scripts? until unless the Quran or Prophet Muhammad came into being. Your scriptures? Stored. Stored. Your scriptures? Like no, any, other, any other event which was well, happened in the past. Okay, first of all, uh, just to be honest with you, I do not consider this scripture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, I wouldn't mind knowing, is this a correct pronunciation? Surah? Surah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm reading my way through it. Okay. I'm, I'm taking notes as I'm going through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I simply encourage Muslims to do the same thing. And let's see where the comparisons is. Now, the, the Muslim Imam that I've spoken to, he told me, I can prove to you, this was about 10 years ago, I can prove to you that Muhammad was spoken of in the Bible. I said, here's a Bible, off you go. He didn't do it. He even invited me to his house. Mm -hmm. And this was, uh, he, he cooked for me. We had lunch at his house. And I said, okay. And every time I see him, I keep saying, when's, when's his information gonna come forth? He, he says, I must do that. It's been 10 years. There's no mention. But I think what he's going to say is, well, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, is it 18, God said, I will raise up from among you a prophet. Muhammad's claiming to be that prophet. Okay, Jesus is that prophet according to our Bible, but Muhammad's claiming to be that prophet. Does he qualify to be that prophet? Uh, according to the Bible, and this would be, okay, just so you'll know, this is what we're told. Now, this would be a claim, all right, this is in Deuteronomy chapter 18. If you look at the, the um, it's to the portions of the priests and Levites, avoid wicked customs, a new, a, a new prophet like unto Moses. So in this section, right, it says, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren, him you shall hear, according to all you desired of the Lord your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord, my God, nor let me see this great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, what they have spoken is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren, and will put my words in his mouth, and he will speak to them all that I commanded him. And it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. But it goes on to say about false prophets. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks uh, in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it, presumptuously you shall not be afraid of him okay supposing let's we apply this does muhammad now you do know that they use this text muhammad would use that text 
and Islam are Muslim who would use that text. Does he qualify as that prophet when it says, I will raise up from your brothers? And you could say, well, they're related because Arabs, Jews, whatever. But actually, the, it's a particular tribe that he's speaking of, that he says, of your brothers. Because if you go back to the beginning of the chapter, the priests, the Levites, all the tribe of Levi, it starts with that. Muhammad doesn't qualify at all to be that prophet. Okay. Should I give you a link? Oh, you can write if you can write it on yeah, yeah, write yeah, down I'll, somewhere. I'll do. Now, I was given this uh, Quran in England, I think, or no, it was actually in mail. If you need, if you need a, a Quran, uh, well, I have one. Well, I will just give it to you. Well, I have, this is a Quran. I will give it to you another, just uh, but, so you can compare it. Okay, but if, you want. if, it, if it's in English, I can read it. Is, it. Okay, it is. Okay. It is in English. So you can write. In, have you got a pen? No, I oh. haven't. Sorry. Uh, oh, okay, we might be able to use a phone or something like yes. that. We are just having a very good conversation yes, about it. Yes. It's not about fighting each I other know, or I anything. Know, you know. Know. And at least you can see that I've done my homework a bit. Yes, you did. You did. Of course you did. I was just reading this. I just in there. Like, yes. Okay. We should talk to <laughs> Yeah, well, it's good to have that. Okay, so you can type it in there. It'll be easier for you. Well, this is a man who has read all the transcripts. Okay, what's the name? Zakir Naik. Oh, of course I know who that is. You know him. <laughs> so he, he, he just quotes everything uh -huh. from Bible, whatever the questions of Muslims, whatever the questions of Hindus, and then all the, all the sectors, you know. Okay. From the even Muslims ask questions to him uh -huh. about their doubts. Okay. And he just go well, through well, all of that. Well, as a doctor, of course, I'm sure you'd be interested in things like, uh, you, you've seen David Wood's videos, have you? Hmm? Have you seen any of David Wood's videos? No, I haven't. Well, he did a series called Islamicize Me. Mm -hmm. And it was based on, there was a documentary or mockumentary, really, based on if you were to eat only McDonald's food or Burger King, what would happen to you physically, you know? So they said, let's do a documentary called Islamicize Me. What if I was to be a Muslim for 30 days and follow all the rules? And uh, it's quite funny, but it might be offensive at the same time because they ask questions such as, um, they're driving up the road, I need something to drink. Well, shall we just go to that store and get some juice? Oh, no, no. Let's ask what the Quran says. Let's see what Muhammad says. And they said, Muhammad said, water can never become impure, mm -hmm. right? So you can drink any water, mm -hmm. okay? And you know as a doctor, that's not true. And right? the running water. Well, I in that. the case where the, the it was asked of the prophet, this is, um, um, uh, what's his name, Bukhari, okay? It was asked of the prophet, what about that water, which had dead animals floating in it, mm -hmm. okay? And he said, nothing can make water impure. No, so they they true. they drank from this water. No, that's not true. Well, when you say it's not true, is it in the hadiths not true or in the Quran not true? Well, what we were told, what we know, according to my concept, every any running water, which is running, not yeah, stagnant, of course, not that stagnant, would be different. Any running water is pure. Well, what about a pond? Well, what if you were to find out that Muhammad said no, it, even that pond water with a dead animal in it, there was a dead donkey in it. No, 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 no. I haven't read that. Okay. I haven't read that. I, I, I haven't read that. No. Okay, watch, look up, look up Islam says to me, another one in that, I don't want to take up your time, but he said, if a fly landed in your food, mm -hmm. you're eating cereal, okay, you have your cornflakes with milk, a fly lands in your food, what are you going to do? Well, here. But, but that's not what we're told in the hadiths. Mm -hmm. Now, whether the Hadiths are authoritative or not is another question. But one wing has a exactly. yes, we, I believe right. That. So you believe that one wing of that fly has a blessing, the other has a, a curse. Yeah. And so, what should you do? One wing has a cure, and the other wing has a disease. Yeah, I thought you were a doctor. Do you believe that? Well, these things sometimes you have to just go through what we were told as in transcript. But you have to work on that. You have to read more to get into the thing why it was said and why it so was written they dunk it into the food Let because you don't want to lose out on the blessing we have a few of the hadith we're yeah. talking about hadith there are various books 
Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari, and all these different kind of mm -hmm. revelations. They were written by different kind, different people. Yeah. There are some which are very old, and there are some which are new. Uh -huh. We do not believe all of them. We have to read, and we have to understand either it's true or not. Okay, but can I ask you this then? Who would be the highest authority in your opinion when it comes to hadiths? Bukhari. Okay, so I, but I know. Even in Bukhari, there are hadiths which are not really relevant. Okay, and which is the highest authority? The Quran or the hadiths? Quran. But can you understand the Quran without the hadiths? Well, Quran, start with the Quran, and if you want to know what extra hadith has to tell you follow the hadith mm. that's the second thing hadith comes second quran always comes first right that's what we okay believe. that's interesting because when it comes to roman catholicism mm. i'm not a, i'm not roman catholic i mm. hope you know that but they have the pope as mm. number one authority a high on earth a high on earth do they believe that secondly they have their traditions mm. which are the teaching magisterium of the catholic church mm. and thirdly of all, it should be the highest, but it's the third highest authority is the Bible. Exactly. That's now, how it. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. It Quran, should be the Bible number one. Yeah. You see. But for us, Quran comes first because that's what the words of uh, words of God. Then comes Hadith because that's the word of that's the life of Muhammad. But it is not a po opposite to the Quran. It is similar in some extent. And they're what, commentaries. The they're com like commentaries, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We have commentaries in the Bible as well, but we wouldn't take them as authoritative. We'd just say, well, that's a pretty good explanation. You know, that not, type of thing. Not authoritative. We, it's, uh, we uh, as humans, have a common thing, which is like peace. Peace is the common thing. Like every religion teaches, preaches peace. Is that right? I don't know if that's 100 percent true i know i know <laughs> but in islam mm -hmm. the first priority is peace and you do not harm any 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 human any animal or anyone mm. is that right well i don't know if i well, from what i've read in the quran with the 29 wars i would question that well why did why did those wars come into being came because into somebody being? wanted to enforce their religion on other people there wasn't a religion forcing. They started with preaching. Well, they started with preaching. That's the view taken by the religion itself. Of course, you're not going to say, "Oh no, we were the ones started the war." <laughs> no one's going to say that. How did How did uh, Islam start? In Mecca, yeah, the square, which yeah. is a Mecca. Is, there were gods, idol gods. Yes, in Mecca. Yeah. People were worshiping those gods. You do not believe in those gods, right? No, no. They're at, they're stones. They're things. stones. Yeah. They can even protect themselves. How can they protect people? Well, right? let me just say. I know a friend wants to say um, real quickly. A, a version that I've heard, which may be true or not, I don't know. But the black stone of the Kaaba mm -hmm. is actually the head of another stone found missing its head, and I think it's in Turkey. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's. A meet black meteorite stone missing its head and that it's turned up in uh, at the Kaaba okay in other words I think this is my own opinion that Muhammad selected one of these gods or idols and got rid of all the rest and they have held on to that to this day that's what I think will happen okay and I think that they are basically idolaters at the end of the day and um, I do believe that this is my opinion okay i believe that muhammad is certainly a false prophet in my opinion but i think people need to check and ask questions and see do you just take his word for it because he said it because like i said there are hundreds of sects and cults in the world all claiming from joseph smith and you name it they're all claiming i'm the messenger of god god spoke to me and if you don't believe it then you have a problem <laughs> We can't do by that, like, and Muslims need to ask the same questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Like, I no, should no. ask myself, is he? What if he's not a true prophet? What if he's making the whole thing up? You see, listen, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I don't want to take up all your time. But I have to pack up, and I'm supposed to be at someone's house at three o'clock. <laughs>